The ongoing war in Ukraine is having an impact on food security across the world, including across the African continent. Russia and Ukraine are two of the top suppliers of the world's wheat and disruptions from the war, along with a poor harvest, has caused the cost of essential items like bread to soar. And in the last hour, Russian media has reported that the country's deputy foreign minister says Moscow will find ways to supply markets with Russian grain and fertilizers, despite the sanctions, obviously, on that country. I'm joined now by Marcello Malavasi. He's the head of knowledge and innovation at Action Against Hunger's regional office in Nairobi. Marcello, thank you so much for talking to us. So if we're talking about the East African region in particular, what is the situation there now when it comes to the everyday costs of basic things like bread and flour? Good morning, Kimberly. Uh, thank you for having me. Uh, the situation here uh, is dramatic. Uh, we are in the middle of an emergency. Prices are going up um, five, five times in certain region. Um, our stabilization center, the, the health center, uh, are um, seeing children dying even when they are recovered. Uh, we have uh, 14 million people uh, across the region on the verge of starvation. Uh, but, Marcello, um, I just want to—I yes. just wanted to, to to get the the exact specifics of that. These are people. Are, are they in the Horn of Africa? Yes. Not in the wider population of the East African region. These are very specific people who are suffering exactly. from this. On okay. And, and allow me to uh, highlight that the situation was very severe even before the Ukrainian crisis. Uh, already in January, we could forecast. Uh, uh, a situation that uh, was on a trajectory to become a catastrophe. And we are expecting this catastrophe to happen. Clearly, the Ukrainian crisis is just pouring gasoline on a fire. So, Marcello, where would aid agencies like yourselves, where would they get the food to feed these people? We have our own supply, uh, but clearly we cannot compete with the... Uh, we, we cannot provide... Uh, the, the the food to 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 feed the entire population. So um, our intervention is an emergency intervention, and we are talking here of countries like Somalia, who are uh, dependent from Ukrainian from Ukrainian grain for 33 percent. And if we add to uh, the Russian uh, wet, it's 100 percent. So. We, we, are, we are speaking of the entire food import of these countries. I'm reading here that in some countries like Kenya, where you are, 67% of their wheat comes from Ukraine. What's happening? I'm assuming they're just not getting that. Exactly. And, so, uh, and uh, uh, we, here we are, we are not talking about eroding uh, the, um, the, 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 the living uh, standards of people, we're talking about starvation. The food is not arriving. Um, we, uh, uh, this is happening uh, in a, a drought uh, season. This is the worst drought in living memory. And there are concurrent shocks. For example, there's been COVID, of course, but a locust invasion. So this is just a compound crisis that is happening right now. Uh, one would then ask if these these countries in the region are able to actually grow their own wheat. I, 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 they do have farms there, do they not? They do, but um, uh, in the past, uh, this is, of course, a region prone to drought, but uh, the frequency is becoming um, unsustainable. Before, you had a drought every eight, seven, eight years. Now it's happening every two years. In certain regions, uh, yeah, this would be the fourth year uh, without rain, and we expect even uh, uh, the, the rainy season in September to be uh, below the average. So we are talking about five years of drought, and clearly in these conditions, uh, even with uh, resilience uh, programs and activities, uh, it's, uh, it's not possible to feed the, the population. Because, Marcello, it's not looking good. It's not looking like these, this um, grain is going to come out of Ukraine anytime soon. What are you going to do with 14 million starving people on your hand and no access to a huge amount of food supply? Uh, good question. Uh, this is why it's uh, urgent. Uh, and when I'm talking of urgency, I'm talking about now. Uh, recently, uh, the EU uh, um, published uh, um, um, a, pub uh, publish a press release on um, um, securing um, EU-Ukraine uh, 
solidarity lanes. Uh, we need to, to get that grain into the region. We need to ensure that the logistic is, is, is working, that we don't have bottlenecks. Uh, and we need to ensure that the grain is going to the countries with the highest dependency to this grain. So not to Europe, not to uh, global markets, but directly to the region. Okay. Marcello, it's been really interesting talking to you. Thank you very much. Thank you.